Hi everyone, it's Finn. Right, in this vid I'm going to do a review on a product I've just bought. But before I start, I just want to give a word of warning. This video is about penises, specifically my penis. I'm going to talk about my penis, I'm going to show you my penis, I'm going to talk about peeing with my penis, I'm going to talk about having sex with my penis. So this video is going to be penis-tastic. If you do not want to hear, see, or talk about penises, please press stop on this video now and walk away. Especially if you're my family. You do not want to be watching this video if you're my family. Trust me. That includes you, my mum-in-law. You know what happened last week when we had this discussion? You had a nightmare. So walk away now. Right. For those of you that are left, I presume you actually want to hear about my penis. So... Welcome to my vid. Right, so without further ado, this vid is going to be a review of the Peacock second generation pack, pee and play device, the three in one um, pee pack and play device. Um, it might be an, end up being a little bit of a long video, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write at the bottom what specific bit I'm talking about, so if you want to navigate through it, it might be easier. It's because I want this to be a review. But also, I'm a first-time user of anything like this. You know, I'm a, I'm new at standing to pee. I'm new at using a kind of prosthetic um, sex device. Really pretty new. So it's going to come from the perspective of a review, but also from the perspective of a, of a first-time user. So, yes. Okay, so the product is this. It is... It's weird, right? Because I'm doing this next to a window, so if my neighbours look out now, <laughs> they're going to get happy Friday. Right, so this is the Peacock 3-in-1 Pee, Pack and Play device. It is uh, the 4-inch penis. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. But let me give you a close-up on it. Okay. This is one other thing. Right, so let's talk about aesthetics first, the way it looks. Um, it's obviously not the most realistic thing in the world. But it's not the reason I got it, um, to be honest. There, there are some amazing realistic ones out there. But they didn't do everything I wanted to do, and they also bust my wallet. So, this one does. I mean, it's certainly passable when you're using it to go to the toilet and what have you. It, it is certainly passable. It does have some, you can see the veins on it, and it also has the kind of long vein underneath. The balls are just absolutely ridiculous. They just look pathetic. They really are just no good. But, Again, they're passable, and actually what I like about them is the fact that they are 3D. Up until this point, I've been using the Mr. Limpy Extra Small, and to be honest, I found the balls on that quite big, and because they were flat-backed, in some trousers I found they would actually show quite weirdly. So these are kind of 3D, they're quite squishy, they're relatively small, so they're actually okay. So, you know, on realism, it's not going to score high on the scale, but it's certainly passable. It certainly does. Right, so in terms of packing, as I said, up till now I've been using the Mr. Limpy Extra Small. Um, and that's what, three, three and a half inches, I think, something like that. Um, this at four inches is perfect. Although I have to say, for me, it's difficult to get used to it being in my pants, even this because it is that little bit bigger and I'm still kind of learning how to sit it. I mean, I've seen some guys that kind of sit with it up. I just can't do that. It looks like I've got a constant boner. I'm not doing that. So I kind of go down and to the left at the moment because it makes sense with getting it out to go to the toilet and what have you. Um, but yeah, as a packer, it's great. I mean, it does, it's, it's quite soft. It makes an odd noise, don't forget, because it's hollow. You can't hear that in your pants, so don't panic. Um, it is quite nice and soft, so it doesn't make a massive bulge. It's actually, and Nat said this as well, the bulge with this, even though it's bigger than the Mr. Limpy, is less obvious. It sits nicer, and I think it makes a better line in my pants. I think it's just getting used to the extra size. And I find that having um, relatively tight boxes helps, because <laughs> I've got some on today that are kind of the loose ones, and it's poking out down the bottom of my leg. <laughs> And I don't like that. So yeah, I'm still getting used to it, but I love packing with it because the funnel, which I'll talk more about in a minute, really kind of sits round you, so it really does feel 
like it's just part of me it, I just I love packing with it I absolutely love it really really do um yeah I think that's all I've got to say I'm packing with it yeah yeah definitely definitely much better than Mr Limpy I was originally thinking debating about going for the five and a half inch because they come in four five and a half and then six and a half um and you know for for the play aspects I thought it'd be good to have something a bit bigger but a friend of mine recommended in order to work out what I wanted to do to measure myself so I measured down my leg five and a half inches and was like no way and I'm so glad I went with the four inch because anything bigger than this would just have been I'm only five foot four so anything like bigger than this would have been too much and as for the six and a half inches I'd have been tripping over it you know so this is perfect packing wise for my height I feel, I feel you know I think anything more than that would have been a bit too much for me um peeing oh my god it's absolutely amazing I have wanted to stand to pee for a while I did buy a product recently well last year sometime I did a video about it briefly um it's a really good device it's um the urinal stand to pee device but I think I have trouble controlling my flow and it was so small and I found it quite uncomfortable to wear I tried to adapt it from a Mr Limpy and it just wasn't comfortable at all and I gave up with this I've had no problem whatsoever I've had this now what about three weeks and I've had about a handful of accidents and those accidents have come from me trying to be cocky more than anything me trying to kind of like whip it out just through my zip rather than undo my whole trousers or being busting to go um, and then I've had an accident but apart from that it's so easy because this funnel on the generation one I never had one but I've, I've seen reviews which is why I've never got one of these before you didn't have this extra funnel thing but this you see the way it is actually kind of like cups round you and forms a kind of suction uh, and it's so easy because it's so big you can't really miss as long as you, where you wee out of you see this hole as long as where you wee out of is positioned over that so this back bit is just just by your anus basically and then you just simply not push hard but just make sure you're just kind of like hang on pushing the balls against you a little bit just to form more of a seal it's fine it's absolutely so easy to use it really really is i found the trick is just to not push the balls too much just just enough till you can feel them against you you know when you're on the at the um, urinal if you're brave enough to use that or the stalls you just literally just reposition it a little bit just so you can feel it all in the right place push gently against the balls and it's fine works really really well the thing that is a slight issue with is inside here if you can see there's like a little indent where the balls are and you can get a little bit of a puddle in there when you've peed and I'm learning to do this more and more um, the act of kind of when you finish peeing just kind of tilting the balls up to empty it so I will kind of hold it with one hand like this and then now the other hand inside my boxes and when I've finished peeing I kind of pull that up to empty it now this might be TMI but you get some dampness right because we're used to wiping ourselves let's be fair we sit down we wipe with this obviously you don't wipe so I found it has kind of a squeegee effect because as you empty the balls like that you can also kind of wipe against yourself getting rid of any drips it's a work in progress I'm getting better at it every day but there's less dampness much less dampness and you know it's just for me it still looks like I'm having a bit of a party in my pants when I'm trying to go to the toilet so I'm using the stools at the moment because I'm having to kind of like find it in my pants and then do this business but I'm getting better and better at it um, I mean I'm also not using stools because I'm worried about not passing at the moment so I'm still sorry urinals so I'm still using stools the the cubicle stools whatever you want to call them um, but yeah I'm getting so much better at it now so once I feel a bit more confident I will use the urinal I've just got to not look like I'm faffing around quite so much so, coming from the perspective of reviewing a device, this is brilliant, and as a first-time stand-to-pee person, you can't go wrong with this. It's so, so easy to use. The only problems I've had are problems more with me, in that 
I found it really hard to let go. You know, I'm so used to sitting down and standing up, my whole body was going, you've got to wet yourself. Um, and so it was really hard, you know, getting pee shy to just kind of let go. Um, and I went out with it the very first night I got it. I went to a gig and I had to go to the toilet and it was so hard and my, my bladder empty. And I also found that I would go to the toilet, come away from the toilet and be busted again. And what was happening was I would be kind of like controlling my flow and then it would stop. So I think I'd finish, so I'd go, but then I hadn't finished. So I've learned now to kind of, when I think I've finished going, to relax and see if I can go again. And it's getting easier and easier to let go every time. But as always, when I go, I kind of let out a test wee, make sure everything's in place, and then I go. And then I'm, I'm kind of getting used to watching the stream coming out. And I know from how forceful the stream is how much I can hold back or push forward. It, honestly, once you try it, you'll see what I mean. I love it. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so, yeah, as a, as a, <laughs> my biggest issue, my biggest reason for wanting something like this was because I really do want to stand to pee. I have... A lot of questions about lower surgery yet. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, or not. But my biggest thing was I really wanted to stand to pee. Um, and this this is just absolutely epic. I just am so impressed. I should say as well that it's also changed this design by it's got like a slit at the end rather than the old one. It had a hole apparently, which would have looked a bit conspicuous. Um, so yeah, I like that. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, in terms of playing, wicked. Um, we've given it a test run. Other reviews I've seen um, from other guys have said that it, they have some problem with it being a bit bendy. Right, hang on. I should say first that it comes with this, which is a flexi rod, um, which goes inside it, which I'll show in a minute. And you can pay extra for this, um, what do they call it? Uh, I don't know, play device or something like that. But anyway, this, this extra bit, pleasure, pleasure kit, this extra bit is to go against the user to give them pleasure so you have to play extra for that it works it works it's worth the money anyway right so this goes inside see the hole in there where you pee through it goes inside there hang on it's much easier when it's got some lube on it um yeah like that so as you can see it's not the most um, impressive upwards boner it really isn't but then when it's pressed against you it is a bit more like that um and it's obviously only four inches and it does have some bend to it the rod doesn't go right to the end so this bit is squishy but that's good because you don't want it poking out the end and getting your partner really you know so it comes to there so there is some bend at the end and it it is not the most solid of erections i'll give it that it isn't but we made it work it's going to take some practice for sure um but I like it. I really, really like it. Me and Nat, by the way, I should say, I do have Nat's permission to talk about this. I never, ever, ever divulge anything really personal about somebody on my channel unless I've got their permission. And Nat's given me her permission. So yeah, we've test, test ridden it. And yeah, it definitely works. We have tried a um, harness still day before. Which was alright, the trouble is, it's the whole getting it going. So, you know, you're getting all jiggy with it, and then it's like, excuse me darling, what I go and put on my penis. And that kind of like deflates the mood. And if you've watched any of my videos on here or It's a Man's World, you'll know that I have some issues around sex. I'm dysphoric in a lot of ways, and having the added thing of going, oh, I'll just go and put on my penis, um, was just like putting a whole damper on it, and it was just not working. So the thing with this is, well, once this inside is lubed, it's actually really easy to get in. So, you know, I'll have it on already, and then we'll get in the mood, and it's just a simple case of slipping in the rod and off you go. Condoms, people, condoms. Um, and that's great. That is so much easier to transition from just wearing my penis to putting the erection rod in. And it's also lovely that when you finish, you can just take the erection rod out and go floppy again. Because, the, you know, the other thing about using a, excuse me, a harness dildo is you've got this whacking great hard thing. And so when you finish, it's just, it gets in the way of cuddling. You've got to take it off again. It just feels, oh my God, it just didn't feel right doing all that business. So this feels much nicer because I'm bonding with this now. It's my friend. Um, it feels more like me, feels, feels more like mine, you know. So when I've got it on all day and then rather than changing a whole penis... I'm literally just putting an erection rod in, 
you know it's so much better so much better i really really love it and it is really easy to take in and out when you've got lube on it it's even better um i'm trying to think of i've covered everything i think so i think so i think so get very excited here <laughs> but yeah i love it i love the whole fact that when you're having sex with it especially you know this is all feels much more like you it really does it feels like really part of me um and because of the rod going right over against you you can actually feel what it's doing more than you can with a a um, kind of harness dildo but as I say because it is only four inches and because the flexi rod is quite flexible it takes some practice I think quite possibly the five and a half inches would be better for sex because although you'd get the wobbly bouty bit the extra length would help but you know me and that had fun with it and um, I reckon we'll be fine with a little bit of practice because as I say I'm quite new at using these as well so I reckon it's fine and if it helps me to relax and have sex then brilliant because that's what I got it for um, so yeah all in all that rushed review which has gone on quite long and I do apologise but I wanted to try and get as much out of it as possible oh hang on harnesses right there are three harnesses there is the comfort harness the comfort play harness and the sports jock. Now the comfort play harness is what you're supposed to use when you're using the um, peacock for intercourse. Um, but I didn't want to change harnesses. I thought what's the point in having my own penis that I don't have to swap only to change harnesses. So I got the comfort jock because they said on the website that it was good for people that are active. I do like gym and what have you so and cycle and so I thought I'd get that. But the other reviews I've seen, the guy said that he uses the jock for sex, it works fine. Because I didn't want to swap. So I got that. And it does. It works absolutely fine. It's just, it's more material than you would get with the um, the other harnesses. The other harnesses would just have the O-ring and then the straps round, you know. So this, you know, the, the balls sit in the back there. And it's nice and cotton, so it's not going to cut into the, the silicone either, which is good. The one thing... I would say, if you're going to get it, get a size smaller, because I measured myself and went for the medium because it said 32 to 34, and when you're wearing it low across your pelvic bone, I'm quite wide down there, but actually this is on the loose side, so I'm actually just going to get some cotton, yeah check me out, I can just about so, fold that over and take it in, and then I can adjust it as is, you know, um, it's fine, but for sex it does need to be that tiny little bit tighter. But that's that's easily. I'm not going to like cut it. I'm just literally going to fold it in half, and then stitch. So so yes, I would highly recommend that harness. In terms of price, I got the four inch peacock, the erection rod, the pleasure kit that goes against you, and a pack of three comfort jocks, and that came to 181 pounds and something pence, that's British pounds converted from American, um, or whatever it was. So yeah, just under 200 quid, so it's a lot of money, but considering you get three products in one, you know, I think it's really well worth the money. If you're somebody that really wants a good packer that you can pack and play, pack and pee with really comfortably, really easily, it, it excels at those two things. And if you want the added bonus of using it for sex, definitely definitely it's a great product for that money and it's it's really good silicone it's lovely and soft and am i selling this thing i loves it i loves it i really do so i'm going to stop because we're almost at 20 minutes um in that really kind of car crash review i really hope it's helped but please do message me to ask any questions there's there's nothing i'm shy to to answer you know anything whatsoever just please drop me a message and i'll help in any way i can but, um, but yeah, can highly recommend it and I'm sure Nat will give it a thumbs up too. Yeah. Right. Take care, everybody. Hope to hear from you soon. See you soon. Bye bye.